Good morning. This is the power of a prayer. My beloved, there is power in prayer. I'm Gloria Fountain, the host of Power of a Prayer. And I'm coming to you this morning to speak in you, my beloved, to pray without ceasing. I beg you, I beseech you in the time we're living in now, we got to pray without ceasing. Everything going down but the word of God. Okay, I don't want to get beside myself. Well, turn your Bible while I'm at it. Turn your Bible to Isaiah 55, and we're going to start at that sixth verse. But before I get started, I like to always pray. And before I pray, I want to tell you, viewers, get your coffee, get your biscuits, get your loved ones, and bring your loved ones around the set. Mother, father, if you got older kids, nieces or nephews, please go in the back and wake them up. I'm going to stall a little bit. And let them come to the forefront to see what God is saying to me to say to them. Okay? Well, I'm going to pray while you're getting your coffee and your biscuits and yourself together. Because I always love to come before God in prayer. Because prayer is the only thing I know that changes things in people too. Father God, we come to you at this early hour of the morning with a heart full of thanksgiving. We do thank and we do pray you this morning for another opportunity just to tell you thank you. Thank you, sir. Much obliged, sir. We thank you. You brought me over the dangerous highways and byways. I even heard no bad news this morning. I just want to say thank you, sir. Father God, look on each and every one of my viewers. They could be doing anything, but they choose to stop. They turn the TV on to see what you're saying to me to say to them. And just for that, Father God, don't let neither one leave this show Father God, uh, without getting something from what you're saying this morning. And you saying this morning, seek me where I may be found. Come on, seek me where I may be found. You better seek him now, my beloved, while the blood running warm in your veins, because we don't know. We're living in a day now that we just don't know. But we know one thing. God, we are here now as a prayer. We know one thing. He's good all the time, and all the time he's good. Thank you, sir, Father. We ask you, Father God, to please anoint my lips of clay. Let this word fall on good ground this morning. Somebody need one thing, and somebody need another. Father God, somebody's at the crossroad. Don't know whether to go right or left. <clears throat> Excuse me. Just don't let them go back. Father God, don't let them go back this morning. Lord, let them hold on, Father God, to your unchanging hand to your merciful hand. In Jesus' name, I ask these and all other prayers. Amen. And again, viewers, I say amen. Well, it's hot, viewers, and I'm a little hoarse, but we're going to make it by the grace to God. Only by the grace to God. For I heard him say, my grace is sufficient. And I'm coming to you this morning out of a pure heart telling you what thus says the Lord. But I first want to stop and thank my good friend, Teresa Gross. She sits in for me when I'm not here. She was at a few shows ago. She was here. It's nothing like having a good friend, my beloved. It's nothing like having somebody you can call on. Even when it's the last minute, they will try and do all they can to help you. And I just want to give Teresa Gross a shout out. Thank you from the bottom depths of my heart because you didn't have to do it, but you did. You sit in for me, and everybody loved it, loved it your show so well. They just enjoyed it, and I thank God for you. Viewers, call me. Anytime you feel like you're about to give up or you're about to throw in the towel, I'm piggybacking off my phone calls. I'm getting a lot of phone calls. Now, I don't call names on this show. I just don't do that. But a lot of phone calls is coming through how people's about to give up. They're giving up on their jobs, their mother, their children. You can't give up. The darkest hour, my beloved, read my lips. The darkest hour is 11.59.59. Please hold on just a little while longer. Help is on the way. See, he ain't going to come when you want him to come. But my beloved, he on time. And if you feel like you're giving out, Pick up the phone and give me a call. I'm just a phone call away. And that is what I'm for, to help somebody at the last minute. It doesn't matter. And they, even if I'm busy doing something, I put it down to talk to you because you don't need to go back. 
Or you might be at a crossroad. You may not know whether to go right or left. But my beloved, just don't go back. You don't come too full. Hold on to God's unchanging hand. Just hold on and hold out. I know what I'm talking about. And when I'm talking to you, I'm telling you where I've been. I've been in some dark places, but the Lord brought me out. And I'm telling you, he'll bring you out. Just hold on. Did we live in a day now? Why they call him good, evil, and evil good. Right, wrong, and wrong, right. My last show was overcome evil with good because it's evil on the land. I'm telling you, judgment is on us now. We got to hold on to God like a home hound hanging over the beach. We got to ride him all the way. Because your own family, your own loved ones, you got two against three and three against two and four against one and five against six. I mean, David said it. He said, I could understand it if it was my enemy, but it's the one out of my whole own household. They're kicking up their heels against me. My beloved, this, you got to go through. You can't stop now. Don't stop in the terminal. We's in the terminal now. You got to keep on. Keep on pressing. Press on till you get to the other side. Like I told a uh, story on my, one of my shows, I don't know which one, and I don't like to exaggerate because God don't get no glory out of exaggeration. But this man, this preacher had preached in a revival, and he was on his way home from the revival. And he told his little daughter, said, I'm going to need you to drive for me because uh, daddy done preached and daddy's tired. The little girl got on the storm and we was driving. And there was a storm. And when the storm hit, people was pulling over. Car lights was flashing. Just everything. And the little girl said, Daddy, can I pull over? No, keep going. Daddy, look at the 18-wheeler, but keep going. Daddy, I can't see that. Keep going. And the little girl, you know how, how chill we youngster, you know, teenager get. She just uh, go into the go driving. Well, the storm lifted. They got out the storm. When they got out the storm, he said, stop. She said, Daddy, I'm confused. As long as we was in the storm, you said, keep going. And now we at the storm, you said, stop. He said, well, get out the car. And I'll show you what I'm talking about. And when she got out the car, he said, look back. He said, all them that stopped in the storm is still in the storm. Good God Almighty. My beloved, I don't know who I'm talking to. Lady, man, stay in the storm. Stay in the storm. Weather the storm. My grandmother used to say, Eagles, when they see the stone fall off, they fly above the stone. But when they look and the stone is right up on them, they clench down to the tree and call that weathering the stone. My beloved, it's time for us to weather these stones. And sometimes, I don't know about you, but I can talk about me. I get one storm before one lift, here come another one. But I tell you, well, what do you do? How do you do? I put my hand on my hip and let my backbone slip. I tell that devil, I draw a line and say, I double dare you to cross it. You, you can huff and puff all you want. You won't blow my house down. You blow the other one down, but you won't blow this one down. My beloved, that's why I'm telling you, I behoove you. You can't sleep all night. You can't look, look at all this stuff on TV. You can't be on these phones all day and all night. My beloved, I'm telling you, please listen. If you ever heard anything this 70-some-year-old woman said, listen to me this morning. You got to be packing something. That devil know, I know Peter, I know Paul. Who are you? See, he know who got power and who ain't. You, if you ever needed power, you need power now. I know what I'm talking about. If you ever needed power, my beloved, you need power right now. Because we, we's in a storm. We all in a storm. It's not the matter of being in the storm. It's how you come out the storm. That's what counts. Can you stay there and weather the storm? Can you ride the billows? Can you ride the waves? Because I'm telling you, it's an end to every story. And I don't care how the wind blow, how the storm rage, it's an end to it. See, I-20 go from coast to coast, but there is an end to it. It's an end to I-20. So my beloved, I behoove you. I don't know why I'm going this way because I got something around for you. But I don't know who I'm talking to. But somebody's in a storm and about to give up. I don't know whether it's on your marriage, on your finance, on your job, or whatever it is. Please, for my sakes, Hold on, just a little while longer. He coming to see about you. Now, he may not come when you want him to come, but my beloved, he'll be right on time. I know what I'm talking about. I've had to hold on, and when it looked like the limb was breaking, I'd reach up and catch another hope, but I was still holding on. My beloved, we're living in a day now. They're calling right, wrong, and wrong, right. I'm telling you, 
We live in a day now. You got to pray without ceasing. If you ever believe God, if you ever trust God, you got to trust Him now, cause you sure can't trace Him. So you sure got to trust Him, and you got to say, tell Him yes, yes, Lord, my beloved, yes, Lord, will take you anywhere in the world this morning. Just tell Him yes. I know what I'm talking about. You looking at a woman now, been lower than low. All these little children running around the house. No, not, not only no bread or, or no food, but no salt, pepper, nothing. And I fell back in that chair. The sun was just about above the trees. And I fell back in a chair on my porch, and I talked to God one day. And my little kids was in the yard playing. They was out there playing ball. And the other nine didn't want to look back and say, Mama, you going in the house to cook? I said, yeah, baby. Mama going to cook, knowing I didn't have a thing in the world to cook. But I stood on faith. And when that sun starts easing on down, I said, now, Lord. And I heard the Holy Ghost go up the street to that store and ask that man to give you some grocery. They'll let you have some till you get paid. I don't want to exaggerate because God don't get no glory at exaggeration. So whatever he told me, he said, go ask for some grocery. So I went to going up the street. I said, Mama, going to come back and cook you. I said, okay, Mama. They were putting their little hands. Knowing we, I know we didn't have a thing in the world in that house to eat. But I was, I was going on, I was trusting him for his word. Good God Almighty. And on my way to that store, walking, going to ask that man for that grocery, the devil started talking to me. You go and ask that man and that man. And I took out the running. And when I got to the store, I fell up on the counter. And when I fell up on the counter, he said, hey, ma'am, hey, somebody after you. I said, no. And I caught my breath. I said, sir, I don't know you and you don't know me. But God told me to come ask you to give me some food until, and let me have some food until I can pay you because my little children at home with nothing to eat. He said, ma'am, he said, I don't know you. It doesn't matter. He said, but let me tell you, I don't credit my mama, and she the closest thing to me. And, and I, I said, well, sir, wait, I don't mean no harm. I said, but I was led to come here to ask you. I know. I heard a voice, and it was the voice of God. So go ask you to let me have some food. He said, but I don't credit my mama. I don't credit nobody. I don't even make that a policy. I don't want that to even be a policy. I said, sir, thank you. Ain't no harm. I said, I understand. If you don't do it, you don't do it. And I turned to walk away. And when I turned to walk away, he said, oh, hey, hey. And I looked around at him, and that booger was charging like a brummer bull. He was bagging up like a brumma bull, and he was black red in the face. He said, get what you want. He said, I ain't never did this before in my life. He said, I don't, I don't understand it, but get what you want. I got what I wanted. I set it on the counter. He said, just, just take it, because I ain't never did this before. That's what I'm trying to say. If God said it, my beloved, that sells it. God said it, I, whether you believe it or not, is my pastor say. That sells it. God told me to go ask him, and I did. So I went home. Fixed the food and everything. It was sun was down then. And we came out on the porch because, you know, uh, the sun, it don't get dog dark in the summertime around by 8, 30, 9. And here come a lady. said, ma'am. I said, yes, ma'am. She said, oh, your little children. I said, yes, ma'am. She said, I work in the kitchen in the lunchroom. And when hot dogs get over a day old, we can't serve them to the children. So they let us take them home. Would you like some? See? Here come two or three boxes of hot dogs. That was my overflow. My beloved, wait on God. Wait on God. He will renew your strength. You will mount up with wings as eagles. You will run and not be weary. You will walk and not faint. You talk, looking at a woman. Now, had not been for the grace of God on my side, I don't know where I'd be. I got some testimony to make the hair rise on your head, how he brought me when I couldn't see no way. How he brought me. You know you get tired asking your family for this and telling your family. You get tired. And that's why I can stand flat-footed and tell you now. This joy that I got, the world didn't give it to me. And the world won't take it away. I paid a price for it. And I don't care what kind of phone call. And you calling me, I, I, I don't call names on this show. I'm just piggybacking off my phone call. Telling me about how your family coming against you. Look, listen. As I said on my other show, David said, I could understand it if it was my enemies, but the ones that sat and sucked with me at the table, which is my own family, kicking up their heels against me. Let me tell you one thing. You got three against two and two against three. Don't worry about that. Trials and tribulations come to make you. They didn't come to break you. You only can let them break you. They come to make you. 
In due hardness as a good soldier, and you will have a testimony. You would have a testimony to shake the nation, stand still, and see the salvation of God. Because everything going on, you got people hating on you for no reason. I know you're calling me, but look, don't think I don't go through. You got your, your own family, go to your friends and try to turn them against you. Then come back and ask you, well, when you call me, you call her when she called. And no one would even call themselves doing. But if it's a good friend, my beloved, they won't leave you. Can't nobody come and tell me nothing about no good friend of mine. That's if somebody just hanging or saying, no, me friend. But see, it takes God to separate the wheat from the tarot. I know what I'm talking about. So don't call me, call me, and I'm going to talk to you. But my beloved, listen to me. You're going through something. These trials and tribulations, you ain't exempted. Your family ain't no different from nobody else's family. They, they, they fight each other. They go against each other, especially if you're serving the Lord. Now, don't be serving the Lord. Don't be walking with God with every fiber in your body. They sure enough going to come against you. They're going to take got to have something to pick on. So they'll just use it for you. But let them pick it up. That's all right. I ask this, every time I ask God to just let me be pure, I, I stay in the faith, Lord, I just want to glow. I want to be pure. When I leave out of my house, I want somebody to ask me, what is that that's got you shining? And I want to be able to tell them about God. It's the Lord's blessing that I'm now enjoying. But babe, I've been through something. Viewers, you look at a woman been through something. Oh, my, 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 my. I've been through something. And I've been through something. I'm telling you, stay with it. Stay with the ship. And even if the ship break, come in on the pieces. I know what I'm talking about. My, 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 my. Let, let's get to the word. I guess carried away. But my beloved, God will change your message in a heartbeat. Somebody's about to throw in the towel. Somebody's at the crossroad. Don't know whether to go right or left. Just don't go back. Just hold on to whatever is it. Just thread. Just hold on to that. Help is on the way. I know what I'm talking about. I know what I'm talking about. Get your Bibles, as I said, and turn to Isaiah 55 and 6. You're probably there by now. And, and my beloved, you got to just seek God. You just seek him. You just, just, uh, I don't care who come against you, what you ain't got to eat, how, much, how you ain't got gas to get to work, call on him. You'll go in that old purse that you say you don't want to take to work with you today, and there'll be a $10 bill or a $5 bill. You don't know. You just don't know. Just, just be diligent. Just be ready. Just be looking. Sometimes you, just, you don't know how, which way it's coming. But just know God is coming to see about you. I know what I'm talking about. Dark clouds do rise and stormy winds do blow. But he's sweet, I know. Come on, let's go to Isaiah 55 and uh, 6. It says, Seek ye the Lord while he may be found. Call upon him while he is near. Let the wicked forsake his ways, didn't I tell you? And the unrighteous man his thoughts. And let him return unto the Lord. See, I don't care how wicked you is, God is not like us. His ways is high in heaven, it's heaven and earth for my ways and our thoughts, my beloved. We like to beat the hell out of people, but God loved the hell out of people. We like to drag folks around, drag the name of them down the highway. And then, but God covers us. My, 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 my. It's in the Lord would have mercy upon him and to our God, for he will abundantly pardon him. See, we can't forget and we can't forgive. We, we, we just want to keep it going. And I, you remember, yeah, but I, do you remember, girl? Do you? We, uh-uh. You got to forgive and you also got to forget. Well, how you say that, Evangel? Glad you asked. Paul said, forgetting those things which are behind me, pressing to the mark of a higher calling. You got to press. We living in a day now, they call it right, wrong, and wrong, right. You got to press. My beloved, you got to have your wall clothes on. You got to be robed up. And I always want he give us a breastplate, he give us shoes and show on our feet, but he didn't give us nothing for our back. That's because he got our back. My beloved, just keep marching up the King's Highway. It's going to be all right after a while. Just, just, I just pray, I, God, let me be pure. Let me be real. And now I have faults. I have to pray probably more than any of you because I have to come before you. And I don't want to come before you any kind of way. Before I came, I was sitting on my couch saying, Lord, speak to me all the way. Speak to me. If you want to change your message, just you do whatever. I'm yours. Father God, in any way, if whatever you want to say, just anoint my lips of clay. And that was my prayer before I came. I'm telling you. And the Lord, want, uh, he want us to seek him while he may be found. Because there's going to come a day you're going to look for him. And you won't be able to find him. 
you're going to be so burdened down and so mixed up and tangled up and crossed up. My beloved, you're going to eat something. Whether it's good for you or not good for you, you're going to eat something. You're going to listen to something. Whether it's him or whether you're going to listen to something. You're going to obey something. Why not let it be God and let it be good? I know what I'm talking about. Good God Almighty. Let's go down to the eighth verse. For my thoughts are not your thoughts, didn't I just tell you? Neither are my ways your ways, said the Lord. For as the heaven are higher than the earth, so are my ways higher than yours, and my thoughts than yours. You can't figure them out. You, you got to trust them. You can't trace them, my beloved. We think, well, I thought I was God. I'd kill it. I, I'd take this from the all. The way God fixed it, you don't have no idea. But you sure know that it's God. You know he, when he fixed it, you know. When he come, you know he there, he been there. I know what I'm talking about. I have tried and tribulation probably much and much and more than any of you. I've been through some and every phone call I get, I can identify with it just about. And I, and I tell people, just hold on. Well, I, I, I did that and it's not working out. And I prayed and even, I don't say, well, you just keep praying. He ain't going to come when you want him to come. Then you call me back. It did. It happened. See? I said, suppose you'd have gave up a throw in the towel. See? See? But I thank God for Jesus. And I thank God that I be praying because I know when this show come on that somebody's going to be calling me and I said, God, I want to tell them just what you say. Not what glory you say. But I want to tell them what the word or point them to the word of God. Because you know we can talk all day but it takes the word of God. My beloved, my information on the screen, give me a call. There's power in prayer. Call me. And we can talk about it, we can pray about it, we can sing about it or whatever. But my beloved, don't go back. If you're at a crossroad, don't know whether to go right or left, just don't go back. Just call on Jesus. And he will. He will answer prayer. I know what I'm talking about. He's a way, my beloved, why there seems to be no way. He's the way, the truth, and the life. There is no other way. There's no other true way. There's a lot of ways. But there's only one way to God, and that's the right way. And my, my beloved, be found on your way. I bespeak you to be found on your way. My, 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 my. Let's go now. To, I just read nine. Let me read nine again for you. For as the heaven are higher than the earth. That's some height, ain't it? Nobody can measure it. So are my ways higher than your ways. So don't try to figure them out. Don't try to figure God out. Don't, you know, he going to come and he going to give me this. And I prayed and I prayed. And the man said, and uh, I went to the car lot and I told him I only had $1,500. He said he couldn't take it. He couldn't take it. I said, well, let's pray about it. Let's pray about it. Yeah, just see what God said about it. Went back to the car lot. The man said, I'm going to take it, but I don't know why I'm taking it. No, you don't know why you're taking it. My beloved, we got to trust God. We got to trust him. He don't know. Maybe he don't know why he's taking Maybe he ain't supposed to, but I'm just going to do this this time. Yeah, that's God. We give up on God too quick. We turn around on God too soon. Keep going. Just keep going. Mind, just keep marching. Keep going, as the man said in the storm. Keep going. And when you get out, you can look back and say, how did I make it over? Only by the grace to God. Good God Almighty. And my, and my ways are higher than your ways. And my thoughts, see, even what he think, you can't even think like him, is higher than yours. For as the rain cometh down and the snow from heaven and returneth not hither, but water the earth and make it, it bring forth the birds. That is, that it may give seed to the sower and bread to the eater. Good God Almighty. When you think it's all over, I remember old sins that this man had planted a garden. And as soon as he planted his garden, there came a big rain. And he said, Lord, that's all the money I had to buy seeds with. That's all the money I had. And here my little children, and I just planted my little garden. Now look at the rain coming. And the rain, Lord, please. Lord, I don't have no more money. I just planted my garden. And now, you know how we do. And Lord, look at the rain. The rain's still coming. And he just stopped. And he heard the Lord say, you, you can do it. You do it. And he said, rain's standing still. And the rain stopped. See, we asking God to do things that we can do. We got power too. A lot of times we asking God to do, well, God, can you do the little bit of stuff we can do? I heard him say, if you make one step, I'll make two. 
He said, if you roll a stone the way I call ladders, but we got to do something. But we don't want to do nothing. And said, so when he said, rain be still, that rain came to the fence and stood still. Good God Almighty. You don't know the power that resides in you when you pray and when you live right and when you call on God out of pure heart. You don't know what power that resides in you. You don't even know yourself. Sometimes you do things and stuff happen and scare you. And don't say you don't because if you do, you lie. It do. Some, oh, that scared me. I didn't know I could do that. Oh, yeah, you didn't even try. My beloved, read my lips. If you lean and depend on God and make God your source, make him your first and make him your last. He said, I'm Apple and Omega. I'm the beginning and the end. I'm first and last. He that was and he that is. The root and the offspring of David. The lion and the tribe of Judah. So he's everything. And if you call on him, like he's coming through the crowd, and make him your everything, he will hear and answer prayer. You don't know what's in you. You don't know the strength when you pray and you fast. And, you, and sometimes you may not fast no day or two or three days if you just fast an hour. Whatever you can do. Do it to the glory and honor of God. Because we're living in a day that you're going to need him. My beloved, you're going to need the Lord. I know what I'm talking about. You're going to need him. You need him right now to hear and answer your prayer. And you've got to be clean, pure. I just ask him, Lord, just, just let me pray and be just clean and just be pure. And I just want to glow for you. I just want to shine for you. Just glow, just shine. And I just ask him to just roam in the oil. Just, 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 Lord Jesus, let me be, Lord Jesus, just so I can just feel you when you come up on me. And I can shout the top of Jehovah. I know what I'm talking about. My beloved, you're going to be full of something. And you might as well be full of Jesus. I don't care how the storm rises and the winds blow. He's sweet, I know. Just stay with the ship. And as I said, if it breaks, come in on the pieces because God is able. We serve the true and the living God. I know what I'm talking about. Well, this is the power of a prayer. I get carried away sometimes because I feed, I, I, I just piggyback off my phone calls and people are so, they in Sorrow Valley. They don't know which way to go and it just breaks my heart. But I, my information coming on, so just call me. But I'm at the end of my time, not just a 30 minute show. And my beloved, call me. If I don't answer you, just leave me a message or a text or whatever, inbox me or whatever. And I promise you I'd call you back. But my time is up now. I know I have to leave you. But I'm going to leave you in the hands of the Lord because minds can't hold you. Until we meet again on this side, may God richly be with you now and forevermore.